About seven years ago when I first started on YouTube, I made a video about one of the most popular wristwatches ever made and sold, and that was the Casio F-91, also sold as the A159. Now, at the time, that uh, wristwatch, you could buy the sort of chrome version on Amazon for around about 10 UK pounds, and the plain black plastic version was cheaper than that. I believe it was around about seven UK pounds. So what I did is I imported a cheap cloned Casio watch from China and I did a review on it and overall the quality of the watch was uh, fine but it had a real issue a real problem it lost time very easily I was losing about 15 seconds a day from the watch so it was completely useless as a digital but what I want to do today is mainly check the accuracy of these cloned watches and just see if they have improved on the absolutely hopeless accuracy of the one I got seven years ago and I've also got a couple of genuine Casio watches here just to do a, a, a basic comparison these aren't the same model of course but just to sort of see kind of like how bad these are compared to the genuine watches. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these out of the packet and let's have a look at a £1.43 delivered cloned watch. And uh, there we go, it seems to have a protective little shield there over the plastic crystal, obviously not glass at this price. Now, one of the criticisms I had on the uh, video seven years ago was the fact that the watch case itself was made out of resin. But, you know, you'll find that Casio now, even on their new watches, they've, they're, they're making their resin as well. The, the, the original sort of metal chromed kind of uh, watch cases are very quite rare on the cheaper models. They've all, Casio themselves have gone to sort of resin. So here we go, straight out of the box. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit, it feels really, really light, as you would expect, of course. Um, there looks like a, a few blemishes there on the sort of chrome kind of plating on the plastic. Um, not really expecting all that much, too much. It's got 24 hour mode. That's an alarm. Stopwatch. And then we go straight back to the uh, sort of setting. And I think the gold one looks better. I think it's just, it actually they've sent me two very slightly different designs here. This has got the water resistant, which I don't think it is. <laughs> Absolutely not. But so uh, yeah, both of these are £1.43 and well the gold one actually doesn't look too bad. The the uh, the casework isn't sort of blemished like on the sort of silk the chrome one now it's chrome one. And once again I imagine it's got the same mode yeah we have an alarm function a stopwatch which is already running. Yeah that resets and then we go back to the... Uh, back I'm going to bring time. in my rather old and antiquated uh, Oregon World Time kind of radio clock, if you like. That's the most accurate clock I've pretty much got in the house. It is a radio clock. So what we're going to do, we're going to sync all of these watches. We'll use this one as well. We'll sync all of these three watches up to the Oregon uh, World, World Time radio clock. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to sort of come back. We'll maybe please we'll excuse back. me. This is totally non-scientific, of course. But there you go. I've got the two clone watches there. They are now synchronised with the radio-controlled clock. Now, what I'm going to hope to do is uh, we'll leave these a couple of days whilst I say at the moment they're in synchronisation, and then we'll come back and then we'll compare. We'll see uh, in a couple of days' time how they're getting on. And then what I'll do is I'll leave them another couple of days, and then finally we'll do a week. Uh, two days later, so just about 48 hours. Now ignore the date and the day because I never bothered to set that. But uh, as you can see, look, the the seconds on these watches are now completely different. There's about almost 30 seconds between the two times, so it's not looking too good at this well, stage. Look at the gold watch. The gold watch appears to be running approximately 10 seconds fast over 48 hours, and the silver one. Well, that's done even worse. If you look at that, that's about 20 seconds slow. <laughs> so between them, there's a half a minute difference. And that's just over 48 hours. I am going to continue this. We'll do this over a week. But uh, yeah, it's not really great, is it? Look at the silver one there. It's, it's showing the minute. Well, a minute is completely it's a wrong. a week later. It is the moment of truth for these two fake Casio watches. Now we know they're inaccurate because we tested them at the two day mark, but look how far, look how far they've gone. 
they're showing completely different times here. I mean, this is like crazy. It's a, it's, this one is about a minute and a half behind that one. <laughs> so yeah, something's gone sort of seriously wrong here. So yeah, I think we need to get the uh, we need to get the sort of radio clock in and just sort of see how bad these are after just one week, remember, just one week of testing. Right, let's have a look at this then. So let's just take the gold one to start with. And as you can see, compared to the radio control clock here, that is just coming on for about 30 seconds fast. So that's gained pretty much 30 seconds. But look at the silver one. Oh the silver God. one has lost a minute in one week. So you multiply that by 52, that's 52 minutes. Assuming that it, it maintains that level in inaccuracy, that's 52 minutes a year, almost an hour a year. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And I know these watches are cheap, okay, and I know they're £1.40 something, but that is just completely ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, it's just not usable as a watch. But I'll get back to that in a moment. Let's, uh, let's for a comparison, let's get the, the other Casio in, a £20 Casio. Let's see how that one's done. Got that one in the shop now. So look, as you can sort of see, it's literally, it's, I would say it's less than one second out on the uh, radio control clock. It might just be, a th well, three quarters of a second fast. But even if that is a second fast, that's only f sort of 50 seconds a year. So it's accurate within one minute a year, which isn't bad for a 20 pound ca proper genuine Casio <laughs> watch. And these are terrible. These are absolutely awful as, you know, a, t a, a timekeeping device. I mean, it's just, you might, as well stick, you might as well shove a stick in the ground and read the shadow. I just cannot recommend these at all. A real Fred in the Shed thumbs down. I hope things have changed. It's been seven years since I looked at these really, really cheap watches. I hope sort of things have changed. And even though, you know, the finish on this one isn't particularly good, the strap on the gold one here seems to have managed to get a kink in itself. And even though I've not even worn it, so it shows you how long these things would sort of last. But I can even forgive that for £1.43 if they were even slightly accurate, but they're just so inaccurate. But does that really matter nowadays when you think about it? And this is, a, this is my point. Um, so many younger people don't wear wristwatches anymore because they use their mobile phones. The only watches you'll see them wear are Apple watches or fitness devices because they're monitoring their health. And uh, yeah, they just they just use their mobile phones. So really, you know, are people going to be buying these purely because they're not going to use it as a timepiece, but it's a kind of fashion statement. It's a sort of a non kind of status kind of, you know, the people's watch, the Casio sort of uh, range of watches. You know, is it, is it just purely as like a bangle? Are they just going to wear this as a bangle and never look at the time, never bother checking the time? You know, and, and in that respect, is this just become a fashion, a fashion accessory for the sort of younger set. I don't know, I'm still of a generation where, you know, if you, if you buy a watch at any price, you expect it to keep time, especially digital. I mean, come on, you know, an hour a year is, is ridiculous. But there you go, so that, that concludes the review. Um, I would say don't waste your money on these. Just, you know, just if you want a Casio watch, just go to Amazon and buy a genuine Casio watch. It's, it's not that much money, you know, and th these, no, just don't, so just don't waste your money. So there you go, that's just that little test there. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, cheers, thanks for watching, do appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up if you, uh, you know, if you like the video. You might not agree, you might disagree with me. You, start, you might still think a, these are good value. If so, put that in the comments, we'll have a chat about it. But uh, as for now, I would say like to say cheers. Thank you very much, stay safe. And of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye now.